Hey guys, it's AJ. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a little difficult and a little hard to explain or like something that I don't even understand yet. And honestly, I'm tired of people like trying to tell me what happened or like what they think happened. Like, I really don't need that. Like, I really, so I'm just telling you, don't comment and say like you think this happened or that happened because it's not about that and it's too late to change what happened. Um, so about three weeks ago, my hermit crab smudge, my Ecuadorian hermit crab, one of them, um, passed away unexpectedly. And that happens occasionally, you know, owning hermit crabs. I've had hermit crabs that have died. Some more obvious than others, like some that I got as rescues that I knew weren't going to make it. Others just randomly. Um, so smudge died very unexpectedly. And um, I have this big forage bucket that all my hermit crabs go in. Um, it's got like moss and like hay, depending on what I put in there. And they're all kind of in there. I don't really bother them because they like being together and they're just doing their own thing. And like I usually see them during the nighttime, so I don't really handle them. So I didn't really think of anything like that. Just thought they were probably molting. Um, but then one of my hermit crabs was really struggling, maybe like four days ago. And I didn't know what happened. Um, but she was really like just very lethargic and very like staying in the same place and like when I picked her up she wasn't reacting normally like either going in her shell or trying to like move or like in the tank she didn't like scurry when she saw my shadow or anything like that. My hermit crabs are pretty used to me but like in general like didn't react normally and when I picked her up and held her her like legs were kind of like moving slowly so I was like this is really weird. So I put her back into the hide and then I went to go pick up the other hides to check on the hermit crabs and I found one dead in the forge bucket and then I found two more dead in a hide and it was just like finding all that out within like two minutes just like lifting them up and just seeing all these dead hermit crabs was just like it like made my stomach like drop like I had no idea what happened I still don't know what happened and it just felt really like confusing and hard to deal with and just like it hasn't even hit me yet to be honest because I'm used to my hermit crabs being like in their containers and like keeping to themselves and at night I, I kind of get up like maybe like 10 o'clock and 11 o'clock I all my lights are off and I kind of like just watch them but like lately it kind of in my head feels like they're maybe molting or they're maybe like in their hides because like I don't want to accept it like I just so then a few days later two days ago yesterday um the one that was struggling in the beginning died um so now I just have two hermit crabs and I'm gonna obviously need to get more but right now I'm pretty sure they're on their way out. Um, they're not acting very active. They're very lethargic. Um, so I'm not going to get them any more hermit crabs right now because I know that they're just going to get sick or like it's just not a good time to add more. And they have each other. They're in a hide together. And I check on them and I've been giving them like I've been bringing them to the water bowl, like having them walk into it, submerge them a little bit. I've been giving them food, like, right up to them in a shallow bowl. They have a hide. Like, I kind of blocked off half the tank to give them just, like, this short area where they can just slowly walk to the food. water. Like, it's all right there. Um, and I've just kind of been praying and watching them and just, like, trying to give them everything that I can, the best foods. Um, it's just, it's just so hard to, like, sit back and know that you can't do anything. It's hard with small animals because like dogs and stuff, you can bring them to the vet. They can kind of tell you. But if you've had, you know, hermit crabs or fish or anything like that, more exotic animals, small animals, you can't bring them to the vet. And as somebody who knows hermit crabs like the back of my hand, even I don't know what happens because there isn't really any research on diseases with hermit crabs. There's like a good amount of research on fish and stuff where like, oh, you see this, you know, this means this or whatever. But hermit crabs don't really show anything on the outside. They just show what their behaviors. So we see them being lethargic or coming out of their shell. It means they're sick, but what are they sick from? We don't know. But I've had hermit crabs die individually. Never had it sweep my whole tank. It's like, what? Like... It's never happened to me in all the years I've owned hermit crabs. And one of the most devastating loss was Sand. She was my first hermit crab. Like, she was, like, my, like, my pride and joy. Like, she just brought me so much happiness. She knew me. She would crawl all over me. She would hang upside down. She was the one that I had to introduce the other crabs to first because she was, like, the queen. Like, everybody... Sometimes you have, that, like, a hermit crab that's, like, more um, dominant over the other hermit crabs. I'd always have to bring them to her first and she would like approve of them. 
she was just so special to me because she was just my first little baby and she was the one that was struggling and died um and the other ones obviously it still hurt but these weren't new hermit crabs i haven't gotten new hermit crabs in a long time my newest hermit crabs were adopted ones and they're still they're alive um but it's like the ones that i've had forever that and i think i might have one more hermit crab there's two up but i think one might be buried but it's been kind of confusing i have like a list of all my hermit crabs all these pictures but like with everything going on it was just like hard to see like who was who what was going on like all that kind of stuff and i was just like i don't really know who's who i'll figure it out if they survive um so that's been really hard okay and on the brighter side that tank's going to be completely thrown away because there's obviously something happened or they spread diseases to each other and I'm moving into my sister's old room. Um, the room has been completely redone, all this stuff. I'll talk about that a little bit later. So I'm moving in there anyway, so I was planning on getting a new tank anyway. So I'm going to wait this out, see if they're okay, like, in, you know, a few weeks, a month. I'll move them into the new tank, which I'm going to completely redo. There's going to be nothing that was in there besides, like, decor that I'll wash out, but no sand or anything. And then I'm going to move them in there, and then I'll get them companions if they make it. But at this point, I don't think they will, unfortunately. Um, but I think that's all I really want to talk about. Like, all oh, It's been like six minutes of footage. But I'm going to stop talking about that because I don't really know what else to say. Um, but my fish tank, my small fish tank, uh, the filter broke. But I feel like it's perfect timing because I was going to have to move my fish tank into my bedroom anyway, which means that I have to empty out the water. So, I'm just going to get a new tank in my new room, fill up the water, bring them over, all that kind of stuff. So, I'll be getting a new tank for them. And then, so that's going to be set. So, I'm getting new tanks for the hermit crabs and the fish. Um, so, now next part of the video. I've been making videos since I was 11 years old. I have made probably around 500 videos. This channel has like 200 videos. I had another animal care channel. I have my personal channel. I've been making videos forever, but especially on animal care. And there's nothing more I can really say. Like, if you comment something like, can you do a video about this? Like, I, I definitely have the video already. Like, any knowledge I have about hermit crabs, anything, I've done a video on it. And if you guys have been following me since my Instagram, you know I've done every topic possible. I've done everything about betta fish. Like, that's what I have right now is hermit crabs in my small tank with my betta fish, my African dwarf frogs, and my snails. Never did a video on my African dwarf frogs. I think I will do that. But... That being said, this channel I haven't been uploading on a lot because I don't really know what to make for content, but I have been uploading on my personal channel, which I don't really have a lot of you guys that subscribe to me on here over there. It's a smaller channel, and I don't know. It just feels weird to, like, upload on this channel, upload on that channel because it's like if I upload on my personal channel, great, I posted, but then this channel doesn't have anything, so it's like now i got to make a video for this. And it's just, like, a lot of back and forth, a lot of looking at the comments on here, looking at the... It'll let, like going back and forth between two channels and I just feel kind of like half of me is over here and half of me is over here. So, starting after this video, I'm combining the two channels on here. I've talked about this a lot in the past. I've done videos on maybe I should do this, maybe I shouldn't. But I've decided that I don't really care what people think and I completely understand if you unsubscribe. If you're like, you know what, I just came here for animal content, this isn't what I want, but I promise you... There will still be animal content, but it's going to be a little bit different. I'm going to be doing more videos at my animal shelter, so more different types of animals. But I'm going to be bringing all different types of videos here. I want to post, I want to upload, but I'm kind of feeling a little stuck because I don't really know what else to do for animals right now. But I want this channel to grow with me. Maybe in a few years I move out and I start getting all my own animals. Then we just bring that to the videos. Like I want to continue this channel and let it grow and let it become something. But I feel like trapped right here like I feel like there's just like a stop sign and I don't know how to go forward but I had three videos planned up to go on my personal channel and I was like you know what I've been wanting to combine these channels for so long why don't I just upload it on here so I have two videos that I'm super excited about that I think you guys are gonna love that aren't animal related but I also have redoing my hermit crab tank completely and redoing my fish tank completely so I'm gonna do one other video my hermit crabs one other video my fish you know videos that's four videos that i have planned i haven't been able to plan videos in a long time because i'm just stuck between the two channels so i think this is a new beginning a new start of you know expanding aj loves animals and just having it become more than aj loves animals but 
I'm going to keep the name because it's going to be kind of confusing for people who might subscribe to both or whatever. I might even take some videos on my other channel and re-upload them on here. Just to kind of keep it all together. But I hope you guys are okay with that. And I think if you aren't, it's totally fine. You know, if you just came here for animals, that's great. But I promise you there's going to be animal videos. But I'm going to do art videos. And I'm going to do challenges but like my own style I don't really like to do like just cha challenges but like videos with my friends my family videos about different things that I'm doing in my life and I just want to like jam it all together and just make it on one channel so that when I upload I'm like okay I posted and the next week I can post her like twice a week or whatever and it doesn't feel like there's these huge gaps between videos because you guys have probably noticed that but that's because I'm posting on my other channel so I hate these gaps of like I posted once this month and I posted three times this month and I didn't post for three months like hate the gaps. So I'm combining this channel after today. There's probably going to be a video. It's Saturday. Probably going to be a video Tuesday, Wednesday. So you're going to get content right after that. A few days later, I have another video planned. So the next like three weeks, the next month, probably going to get four videos. So like you got a lot to look forward to. And I'm excited to just make myself one channel, make myself one name so that this channel can grow and feel just, just like whole because I feel like split right now. So that being said, devastating news, I don't really know what else to say about it, but that I don't know what happened and I'm really heartbroken. It's just been really hard for me, but I don't really know what else to say about that in a video. And then the other news is this channel is taking a step in the direction that I've wanted to do for so long. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.